Okay, so now we're going to look at how we find the first five terms of a sequence when we're given a recursive rule. So we're still going to find, you know, A1, A2, A3, A4, and A5. But the equations are given recursively, meaning that they're going to be based on you knowing other terms in the sequence. Usually the term is right before, but it could be terms that, you know, um, could be like two terms before or like even terms after a combination of terms. So let's look at these ones. So number nine, we have that A1 is 55 and that the nth term AN is equal to AN minus one minus two. So the key is to understand what this means. This is saying that the nth term or a n, the current term is equal to the previous term or one term before the nth term. So think of this as like the previous or preceding, or we could say, let's say one previous minus two. So once you get the pattern, it's pretty simple. So if you want to find a two, A2 would be equal to the previous term or A1. That's what that, that's what that, that's what this is, A1. And then from that A1 term, you subtract two. A1 is defined to be 55. So this is just 55 minus two. And so then A2 is 53. Now that we know A2, we can find A3 because A3 is equal to A2 minus two or 53 minus two, which is 51. And then A4 is gonna be equal to A3 minus two or 51 minus two, which is 49. And then A5 would be equal to A4 minus two, which is 49 minus two, which will be 47. So the key is to read the notation properly. Otherwise, um, you'll be confused and you'll, this will seem a lot harder than it actually is. But once you understand this notation, it's actually very simple. So let's look at number 10. So A1 is equal to 200. And the nth term, a n, is equal to one fifth times the a n minus one term, or one fifth times the previous term. So a two would be equal to one fifth times a one. So a two would be one fifth times two hundred, or two hundred over five which would just be 40. And then A3 would then be one fifth times A2. And A4 would be one fifth times A3. And A5 would just be one fifth times A4, whoops, let's put that in red. So these are called recursive formulas because you can't find A5 unless you know A4. And you can't find A4 unless you know A3, you can't find A3 unless you know A2 and so forth. So um, they're usually easy to, um, to like catch on to the pattern and calculate, but the, but the annoying thing is that you have to calculate all of them usually to get the term that you want. Um, whereas in the explicit formulas, you can just plug in a number and find any term in the sequence, which may take a little longer to calculate, but you can find like literally the 100th term by just plugging in 100. Anyway, so then going through this, A3 is one fifth times A2, A2 is 40. So this is one fifth times 40 or 40 over five, which is just eight. A4 is one fifth times A3. And A3 was eight, so one fifth times eight, or eight fifths. 
and A5 is one fifth times A4 or one fifth times eight fifths, which would then just be eight twenty fifths. All right, now step number 11. Okay, see, this is now this is where we get a little more advanced. A1 is negative three and AN is negative three times AN minus one or negative three times the previous term. Then you add one to it. So if you want to find A2, A2 will be negative three times A1 plus one. After that whole thing, after you do this whole thing, you add one. A3 would then be negative three times A2. Then you add one to that. And A4 would be negative three times A3. Then you add one to that. And A5 would be negative three times A4 plus one. So let's go ahead, let's calculate these. So A2 would be negative three times A1. A1 is given as negative three. So this will be negative three times negative three plus one. Negative three times negative three is nine. Nine plus one is 10. A3 would then be negative three times 10 plus one, which is negative 30 plus one, which will be negative 29. A4 would be negative three times negative 29 plus one, which would be, let me think, negative 87 plus one, or negative 86. And then A5 would be negative three times negative 86 plus one. And let me double check that is. Negative three. And it'd be negative 257. So negative 258 plus one, and then you would get negative 257 for A5. All right, so there you go. I hope that helps. Good luck.